Hello, my name is Dave Lennox, and I want to thank you for letting, my, letting me participate in this Catching Fire retreat this year. Uh, when I volunteered for this retreat, I was given to the, the uh, talk on the Passion of Our Lord. And as I proceeded to think about this and pray on this, I dutifully sat down on a desk at home and wrote out what I wanted to say and what I wanted to convey in this, during this retreat in my talk. And I turned it in uh, to the uh, parish office and uh, a couple of days later, uh, I was awoken in the middle of the night and as my Holy Spirit usually does, he wakes me up in the middle of the night. I don't know why he does that to me, but he likes to tap me on the shoulder when I'm sound asleep and give me thoughts and ideas. Well, it happened again. And he woke me up and he said, this isn't what I want you to do. And I thought, okay, he doesn't want me to do. So I anguished over that for a while, thought about it, prayed about it. Thoughts were coming into my head. The next couple of nights I was awoken again, just kind of tossing and turning. And it got to the point where I was wondering, is this really the Holy Spirit wanting me to deliver this message? Or is it my own self? Is it my pride coming forth? And again, I prayed on it. I talked to my wife about it. And she said, no, she thinks it's really the Holy Spirit taking you in another direction for this retreat. They said, okay. So I prayed on a little more. I actually came and talked to our parish priest, told him what I was going through and what I was experiencing. And he said, go with it. So here we go. I don't have anything really written down. This is from my heart to yours. And I hope if I can reach some of you, uh, it'll help you along the way on your faith journey. Um, one of the things I, uh, the Holy Spirit told me to mention was a passage from the Gospel of Matthew. The least that you do to my people, you do to me. Yeah, I, as I continue with my talk, you'll see where this ties in. At the time, I didn't really realize what it was. And as time came on before I was recording this retreat, I was still being talked by the Holy Spirit on what he wanted me to present today. I was, as, as you can realize, I was kind of confused and I was kind of anguished over it because I was losing sleep, literally losing sleep over this. Not that I was afraid to stand here and deliver the message, just what did he want me to convey to you? And it came down to this. He wants me to talk to you about preparation for confession. How do I know that? I'll give you two reasons. One, the passage that I just quoted from Matthew Two, just this very week, Tuesday morning daily mass, our parish priest talked about, you guessed it, confession. Third, the observer and the observer of this month, Bishop has a, a letter and he talks about the importance of confession. So I'm here to talk to you about confession and how you can pr prepare for confession or not prepare for confession but it is the most beautiful, beautiful sacrament that our Lord has ever given us to take part in. I have to admit, approximately three years ago, I was at a retreat here at the church, and I had a total, total conversion of heart. It changed my whole life. Up until that point, when I prepared for, com for confession, the sacrament of reconciliation, here's kind of how it went. Maybe you'll see yourself in this as well. I used to put on the tap dance shoes. Oh, dance around this one. Dance around that one. Oh, I can't confess that. I can't confess that. What will the parish priest think of me? I want to be liked. My pride was getting in my way constantly, constantly. Another one, another one maybe you do this. You sit down and you make a list. Bad, worse, worse. Oh, I can't do that. I can't, I can't confess that one. I can't confess this one. You pick and choose. You take shortcuts in your path, in your faith journey. Uh, so, that, so I sat down, and I, ever since that retreat, that has totally changed. I don't do that anymore. In fact, I have gone to confession at times where I had confessed sins that I totally, totally forgot that I had committed. And I came out of there with a whole new perspective of God forgiving me. To, to know that he gave his only begotten son, that we can have the love of his heart in our hearts to go forward with our lives, to be, reach him and be with him in heaven is unbelievable. I encourage all of you to please dig deep in your hearts this Lent and come to a confession that you have never experienced before. Bring it to the Lord. Ask him for your forgiveness 
It's a tremendous, tremendous feeling and a change of your life you'll never, ever forget. So that's basically it. Sit down, meditate on your sins, bring them to the Father, ask you for forgiveness because we will not be able to walk with him in the kingdom of heaven unless we ask for that. Thank you so very much for letting me spend this time with you. I pray that you're having a good Lent and I pray that you'll continue to pray for me as we pray for you. Thank you.